The movie begins with showing an orphanage named Grace Field, where a woman named Isabella took care of all the children, all the children here called Isabella mother, and everyone was happy with her, at the same time, all the children used to treat each other as brothers and sisters, here we see that the children had numbers tattooed on their necks to identify them, Isabella also used to teach children an orphanage, so that when they are adopted, they can live well in the outside world, here we see three friends named Emma, Norman and Ray who were the smartest students here, this orphanage was surrounded by a beautiful field, where all the children used to play, here no child could cross the orphanage fence because it was the most important rule of the orphanage, also, when a family adopted a child, the child had to leave the orphanage forever, similarly, tonight a family was coming to adopt a girl named Connie, so everyone says goodbye to Connie, and then Isabella takes her out of the orphanage, after Connie leaves, Emma and Norman discuss whether Connie will send them a letter, originally, children leaving the orphanage promised to go out and send letters to their friends, but till now no child has sent a letter to the orphanage, meanwhile, Emma and Norman have their eyes on Connie's favorite teddy, without which Connie would not go anywhere, so they think of giving Connie's teddy to her, Ray then says that the main gate light is still on, which means Connie is still here, so you hurry over and give her the teddy, to which Emma and Norman rush to the gate, here they see a truck at the gate, when they see the inside of this truck, they both get scared, actually Connie's dead body was kept inside this truck, and there was a flower on her chest, then they hear someone's voice there, so they quickly hide under the truck, after which two big demons come there, who put Connie's dead body in a capsule, Emma and Norman get scared when they see these demons, and listen to them talking, where demons say that the meat of the humans living in this place is of quite good quality, and these humans are raised only for us, here Emma and Norman realize that their orphanage is a human farm, where all children are kept to be eaten by demons, and one day the demons will eat them all, meanwhile Isabella comes there who promises the two demons that she will bring them an intelligent child next time, in fact, children who are intelligent are considered to have good quality meat, meanwhile, the demons smell Emma and Norman, so they start checking around, but when they look under the truck, all they see is Connie's teddy, they picks it up and gives it to Isabella, seeing this teddy, Isabella suspects that a child must have come here, meanwhile, Norman and Emma run back to the orphanage, where Emma suddenly falls down and starts crying, she still couldn't believe that their mother is a bad person, and where they live is not an orphanage but a human farm, then Normal tries to calm her down and reassures her that we should run away from here, to which Emma says that we will not run alone but will take the rest of the children of the orphanage with us, the next day, Emma and Norman visit the orphanage's fence, where Norman says we have to plan well to get out of here, and when our planning is complete then we will tell the rest of the children about it, the two then cross the fence to examine the area, where they find that the other side of the fence is a very high wall that is impossible to cross, so they think they have to come back here with a rope, on the other hand, all the children stop playing in the field because one girl from them has disappeared, then Isabella comes in, she quickly takes out her watch, and heads off into the forest, after which she brings the lost girl with her to the field within seconds, seeing this, Emma and Norman realize that Isabella has placed a tracker on all the children, with the help of which she finds the location of each child, the next day Emma and Norman go into the woods and hide some ropes on a tree, during which their friend Ray comes there and catches them red-handed, then Norman tells him everything, on which Ray believes his words, so he also decides to help them, after that, they go to the library to do research, where they see that every book has an owl stamp on it, around which a code is written, when they decode the code, they discover that a man named Monroe knows the whole truth about the orphanage, and wants to tell them through the books that all the children must run away from the orphanage, later in the evening, Isabella introduces all the children to her new assistant Crona, Crona's arrival makes Emma and Norman's escape plan even tougher, because now there are two women in the orphanage to take care of the children, which was going to be quite difficult for them to avoid, here Isabella shows Crona profiles of Emma Norman and Ray, saying that I think these three children have learned the truth about the orphanage, so you have to keep an eye on all three, the next day the three of them play a special game to all the children, through this game, they wanted to teach other children that if they ever have to run away from here, they could hide and run, but then Karun overhears them and joins them in the game, after which all children start the game, and Crona starts catching them, here Crona finds everyone but not Norman, that night the three get together where Norman says that I think one of the kids is Isabella's spy, who is telling Isabella about our every move, Norman thinks the spy is an older child, so they decide to tell the truth to Don and Gilda, children their own age, to track down the spy, here, Don doesn't believe their words, so he gets frustrated and starts beating Ray, then Emma once again tells them that everything we said is true, and you have to trust us, after hearing this, Gilda believes Emma's words because she knew that Emma loved Isabella very much, so she will never lie about her, Norman then tells Don and Gilda about the location of the ropes hidden by them, that same night we see an unknown child who was Isabella's spy, he gives Isabella a note from under the door that says about the ropes, and also written that Norman is a bad person, the next morning, Emma, Norman and Ray find that their hidden ropes have been taken by Isabella, 
now because only Don and Gilda knew about these ropes besides them, therefore, all doubts fall on them. But then Norman points out that Don and Gilda aren't spies because he didn't tell them the real location of the ropes. Also says that I planned this all to check Ray, and no one but Ray knew the true location of the ropes. This means Ray is Isabella's spy. Ray then admits that he is Isabella's spy, and says that I had known the truth of the orphanage long ago, but I didn't want to die like other children, so I started working as a spy for Isabella, instead, Isabella extended my adoption time, at the same time he says that I could not get out of here alone, but still I did not give up hope of getting out of here, so I hid Connie's Teddy, so that when you go to give Teddy to Connie, you will also know the truth about Isabella, after listening to Ray, Emma and Normal tell him that we still trust you, and then they add Ray to the team and make her a double spy, that means that Ray will no longer work as a spy for Isabella, but for Norman, Ray then hides the ropes in a secret hole in the floor of his room, at the same time, he keeps some gas canisters and his own gadgets in the hole, originally, this gadget was made by him to block the tracker on him, so that Isabella can't find his location, Ray then approaches Isabella and lies to distract her, that children will try to poison your food, Isabella, thanks him for this information, but still she tells Ray that after few months you will be adopted, which makes Ray sad, the next day the five kids go to the wall to test their ropes, where Krona catches them red-handed, but she decides to help the children instead of telling Isabella about it, also tells them that there is a chip in my body, and if a child escapes my security, I will be electrocuted with a chip, but still she decides to help them, here the children discover that Krona was also raised in an orphanage, and now she wanted to remove Isabella and replace her, so she wanted to help children, that night, all five children go to Krona's room, where she tells them a story, that a thousand years ago, the war between humans and demons began, in which many people lost their lives. So the two groups made a pact called, The Promise, in which both groups agreed to live in their own worlds. With that, the demons promised the humans that they would not bother them anymore, but in return humans have to give them some children to eat. This was the reason why some orphanages kept human children for demons, and they have started raising them well educated. Because by eating the brains of intelligent children, demons become wiser, so they don't attack humans. Meanwhile, those kids ask Krona about the tracker. Krona then reveals that all the children have trackers on their ear, so that Isabella can see the location of all children. Now because Ray had figured out a way to block the tracker, no one had to worry about the tracker, which makes Krona understand that the kids have found a way to block the tracker, so she thinks to find out their method. The next day when all the children go out to play, Krona then goes into the children's bedroom to find the tracker blocking gadget, during which Gilda sees her from the window and quickly informs her friends about it, to which they hide the blocker in a pig teddy that Krona had already checked. Krona then finds Ray's secret hole, seeing it empty, Krona gets suspicious, so she picks up Teddy again, during which Isabella comes there, and while giving a letter to Krona, she tells that you have been given the post of a mother in another orphanage, so you have to leave now, hearing this, Krona didn't feel right, so she leaves a special pen for all five children before she leaves, when Krona arrives at the main gate, she is met by the supervisor of the orphanage, whom everyone knew as grandma, here Krona tells grandma about the incident at the orphanage, to which grandma says that Isabella does her job well and she would never let the kids run away, then a demon comes there, and the grandmother kills Krona from this demon. We then see Emma and Norman climbing that wall, meanwhile, Ray distracts Isabella by talking with her, but Isabella already suspected all of them, so she doesn't listen to Ray and locks him in a room, then Don gets Ray out of the room, during which Isabella walks out to the wall, where she catches Norman and Emma red-handed, and starts scolding them. She says I gave you everything you needed yet you tried to break Isabella's rules, then suddenly Emma grabs Isabella so Norman can run away, but Isabella easily dominates Emma and breaks her leg, Norman stops seeing this, and refuses to go without it, Isabella then tells Norman that the next adoption will be yours, so this is your last day at the orphanage, that same night, the four children reunite to help Normal, on which Normal tells them that if I have to save others, I will gladly sacrifice myself, Norman then starts packing his things, during which he finds a pen that Krona kept for their help, the next day, Norman climbs the wall with a rope to gather information. Then he discovers that the other side of the wall is a very deep chasm, due to which they could not easily cross the wall. While well, Norman goes back to the orphanage and makes a drawing on a paper for his friends, and tells them to find a bridge to cross the chasm. Norman was to leave the orphanage that evening, so he says goodbye to all the children. Emma then starts crying because she knows that Damon will eat Norman. Isabella then leads Norman to the main gate, where Norman meets a man named Peter. Here Peter explains to Norman that he is the leader of the operation to feed the demons, and then he starts telling Norman everything in detail, to which Normal says you don't need to tell me anything as I am here of my own free will, during this, a demon arrives and kills Norman, here Emma was very sad and could not do anything because of her injury, Isabella then tells Emma that I want you to be the next mother of this orphanage, Emma gets very worried after hearing this, Ray, on the other hand, was now alone, due to which all his hopes of getting out of here were over, meanwhile, 
Isabella tells Ray that you are next in line for adoption. That night, Emma comes to Ray and tells him that she has a plan, but Ray already has a plan, so he sets himself on fire according to his plan. As flames spread across the room, Emma begins to cry. Isabella comes there after hearing her voice. Emma then tearfully tells her that Ray committed suicide by setting himself on fire with your watch. Hearing this, Isabella quickly tries to extinguish the fire. Actually her watch was very important, because through it she used to see the location of all the children. Here, as Isabella turns back, she sees that Emma has left. Actually all this was happening according to their plan. Well, Emma runs away with all the children, where Ray also happens to be with them. From here we are shown a flashback, in which Emma found Norman's letter after he left. In this letter, Norman wrote some ways to escape from here, and that special pen he also placed with the letter. Emma then gives the letter to Don and Gilda so they can work on the plan with the children. On the other hand, Isabella did not suspect Emma, so she started pretending to be sad in front of her. Emma didn't tell Ray about this plan because Isabella was always keeping an eye on the Ray. Here we find out that while Ray was setting himself on fire, Emma took his tracker out and threw it into the fire, and then tricked Isabella into lying about Ray's death, after which she removed the chips of all the children with a knife, but they could not take the youngest children with them. So Emma promised them that she would definitely come back to pick them up. The story then shifts to the present, where all children climb this wall one by one, and throw their ropes to the other side of the cliff, after which they all use hangers to reach the other side. Here all the children except Emma reach the other side. That's when Isabella comes in, she says to Emma that I was innocent like you, and I also had a boyfriend, then one day I found out I was pregnant, so I tried to run away from that place, but when I was standing on that wall, I realized that I would never be able to escape from here, she then tells that when my child was born, he died after some time, so I decided to become this orphanage mother and give the children a good life, here we find out that Isabella was very sad when the children were given to the demons, but she was doing all this to save rest of the humans. Here Isabella tells Emma that you are my favorite but still Isabella threatens Emma that if she tries to run away, she will cut the rope and throw her down, to which Emma says that mom I trust you that you won't do that. After which Emma starts going to the other side with this rope, seeing this, Isabella takes out her knife to cut the rope, but she doesn't cut that rope, Isabella stands on the wall and proudly watches all the children running. Then she remembers that the song Ray was singing while sitting on the field was the song Isabella used to sing during her pregnancy. Isabella realizes that Ray was her own child, which was lost in childhood. Here all the children begin to make their way in the forest. Then Emma shows the children the pan which, when opened, an owl comes out, which seems to take all the children to the city. Meanwhile, Isabella visits Peter and Grandma, and she holds herself responsible for all the children running away. So Peter hands her over to a demon as punishment. And with that, the movie ends here. If you like this video please subscribe our channel.